builder. Ah, your timing is perfect. We found the perfect spot. Did you bring the water? As promised. Wonderful. As it blends with my paint, its magic will power the runes of protection that I hear inscribe. No rune will protect you from my wrath if I catch you playing games. A perfect mix. Wait, what are you doing? Harnessing hooker magic to bind my spirit to these enchantments. It amplifies the strength. Hooker magic? You learned this from the Jotnar? They practice a form of hooker magic, but this is my own technique. And it's just about done. Could you lend a hand and bring me a few jars of paint? As many as you can. Careful with that jar. It's fragile. Easy. Remember, just place it. Don't break it. Do take care. We can replace the paint, but the time to prepare it is lost. That's well enough. Exactly the right spot. What now, Builder? Perhaps you should move out of the way. Atop that rock, the view will be much better. <laughs> there. Will that do? It will indeed. Hold, hold, and there it is. A thing of beauty. The runes you painted conjured this shield? They did. And if all goes well, it will protect your allies and roast your enemies. Show me. With pleasure. Draw some invaders out from the woods and into the shield. Alive, of course. They must be alive. The barrier will not harm me as I cross. You have my word. about like cowards am i so fearsome that you hide like mice in a farmer's field that's good yes yes it works look at that like moths to a flame come you fatherless curse i am one and you are many what have you got to lose the fools they run towards their doom Your shield is failing, Builder! They're passing through! I don't understand! They should be dead! Hold them off while I try to restore it! What now, Builder? Your shield has failed! No! Not at all! I just need to make some adjustments! Builder, your shield summons an army, but it is as weak as your word. This is not what you promised. Never mind that now. They're coming from all sides. Yeah. <laughs> 
I should have let Loki have his way with you. On my mark. You need to fix this now. I may be as fast as I can. Sour fruit, not as sweet as you promised. It held. The shield worked wonders. It worked well enough. Impressive, but unstable. Don't fear, my friend. The problem is no more. I have mixed the proper solution. With enough materials and the right incentive, I pledged to build a tower so tall it would shield all of Asgard. Materials we can find, that's no issue. What incentive do you mean? Oh, just a trifle. Nothing grand. I only want Freya as my wife and queen. Why the Queen of Asgard? Is it your intent to rule at her side? Nothing so bold. I would be happy to simply bask in her beauty. She can govern the realm however she sees fit. Freya is not mine to barter like a bale of wheat. I will ask her what she desires. Do what you must, but my price stands firm. No Freya, no shield. I have no other needs. And you have no other friends, so tread lightly here. Stretch your wings sooner.
Look at the size of this beautiful creature. Impressive, isn't it? Clear eyes, strong haunches. It must come from powerful stock. You fools. It could swallow the moon next month if it continues to grow like this. I know your mind, Javi. But this wolf is not your enemy. The signs of Ragnarok, when it comes, will be clear for all to see. Tyr, you roll bones in a game you do not understand. That may be, but I'll assume the risk. If there's a price to be paid, I'll pay it. It's the Jotnar that trouble us now. Have you spoken with the Builder? The Builder, yes. Is Freya nearby? She's teaching Thor about organizing armies. A battle they're both losing. Come along then. You must all hear what I have to say. spoke with the Builder. You saw his work. I did. And the sacred water, was it put to use? It was. Your tongue is shorter than your temper today. These markings are your warriors. Enough of this sorcery, woman. Point me towards the enemy, and I will handle them! Javi, you look troubled. The Builder gave me a demonstration of his magic. He conjured a shield that killed invaders on contact. That would do well for us. But your expression says otherwise. I fear the price is too high. What does he want? You. Me. Does he take us for slavers? I will smash his skull till he shits out brains! Now hold on, everyone. Let's wait. Do in. not finish that thought. What was your reply? I told him it was your choice alone. You didn't refuse him outright? I evaded his question to gain us time. Time to devise a better idea. One that does not involve selling off your queen, I trust. How about I beat on his liver till he builds us a wall for free? Might we consider... I will not barter with my body. That would be a first. Hold on. I've got it. The blunt end of my hammer on his family stones. You are overthinking this, all of you. Give this builder an impossible task, a deadline of, say, nine days, when he forfeits, as he no doubt will, Freya remains free, and we may finish his work as intended. He would be mad or stupid to agree. You underestimate men of intellect, Lord of Storms. The Builder is a proud man. He won't back down from a challenge. I do not like this. Nor do I, but we must act. Loki, bring this offer to the Builder. Your will is my deed, Rune Writer. You grapple with forces outside your control. 
You are eager to see the deal done. We're acid. She's Vani. Watch out! Keep your distance! The wolf. Shit! Tyr! I'll get it! It's mine! Stand clear! I will catch it! The size of that beast! I'll sharpen oh, my axe with your teeth, The final blow is mine. Do not fight the beast! Leave it to me! Destined to destroy me. I am the dead walker. I am the living ghost. I cannot die. We will see which is stronger your fate or my will. Will you do the same? <laughs> I've worn too well, and look where it has led! Avi, stop! Stay your ex! My way, Loki. You swore an oath to never spill my blood. Step aside, and I won't have to. This is my blood. What? He is my son. Tyr, you've cared for this wolf. You will be its jailer. Take it to Lingui. Bind it there. Make sure it never leaves the island.
I can speak with the dwarf Ivaldi. May he find a more permanent solution. Come, boy. You're safe with me. Be kind, Justice Pringle. Loki. There will be a reckoning. Of this, I have no doubt. Tell this rump cloud he comes. I was only curious, dwarf. I meant no offense. I'm merely a seeker of knowledge. The dwarves give nothing away for free. Apologies for the distraction, Master Blacksmith. I'll leave you to your work. Well... What shall I craft for you today, High One? Bottomless breaches for soiling yourself on the battlefield? What were you and the Builder discussing? Harvey, my gentle jailer. You know we dwarves give nothing away for free. If you want your question answered, I'll need something in return. Such as? A hidden fact known only to you, Farseer. ...that I may share in your secret knowledge of the world. The sun and the moon are pulled by two horses across the day and the night skies. Skinfaxir and Hrimfaxir are their names. And each morning's dew is the fallen slobber from Heimfaxir's foaming mouth. Curious. Thank you, Harvey. So, you asked what that sack of sheep guts was after? He wanted to know how magic affected your hooger. Why would he want to know the effect of magic on my spirit? Not just you, Harvey. The lot of you. Acid and Vanir alike. I told him to shovel his shit somewhere else. Now, if that's all you came to know, you can piss off and let me work. 
I have one more need. Can you forge me an unbreakable chain? Chains are overrated. One weak link and it's worthless. Let me craft a cord that Thor himself could not break. It must be strong enough to bind a powerful beast. I will sluice my sweat into this cord, Harvey. All knowledge I have and skill I own will define it. And what will I get in return? Make good on your claim, and your contract is fulfilled. I smell bait. What's the trap? No trap. No triggery. Forge me this cord, and you shall be free of my service. Hmm. To craft such a cord, I'll need a few impossible ingredients. Name them. I the list there. I have a bear's tendon, a fish's breath, and... A cat's footsteps. ...and the root of a mountain. How do I find these? How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. I have no patience for riddles, Dwarf. Those riddles are as ancient as the world. With lore passed down from Nii and Nidi to Northri and Sudri, Austri and Vestri, Althjover... I understand. I'll return shortly. Go, my eyes. Survey the area soon. In.
Those Freya statues. Who put you up here, little cat? So that's how it is. Lead the way, nimble one. to go, but down. I have it. Who knew you could capture a sound? This looks like there is the seed in the mountain's rocky grip. Some heat may free it from its shell. He's made the base already? The builder works fast, a bit too fast. of these evil dick.
How is he building that tower so quickly? There is more to this stranger than meets the eye. This area is off limits. I found everything you asked for. How soon can you finish this unbreakable cord? As soon as it wants to be made. You cannot rush this kind of magic. It flows with a speed all its own. Find me as soon as it's ready. By the way, after we spoke of the Hooger, a cousin came by with his own spirit tale. I don't trust coincidence, so this one's free. What did he say? He told me his sister's husband, Borin, drank a mead brewed in Jotunheim, and it sent his hooger into a goat. The spirit of a dwarf in the body of a goat? <laughs> Stranger still, his sister didn't even notice. Heavy! Don't drag me into this. The tower is nearly finished. Do not fret. The final hours are ticking down. Not fast enough. I feel the jaws of a trap closing upon me. Knowing you're in a trap is the first step to avoiding it. You don't care if I'm married off to this builder, do you? Have no fear, Freya. 
Whatever things transpire today, you marrying the Builder will not be among them. At least have the sense to admit you betrayed my trust. I was wrong to use you like that. I'll confront the Builder and pry the truth out of him. A limp apology, but it will suffice for now. Once the Builder is dealt with, turn your spear on Loki. Every chance he had, he dug us deeper into this mess. If Loki is up to something, I'll see to it that he's punished. Blood oath be damned. Quite the tower, hmm? Not my best work, but it has a certain glow. Now then, where's my queen? You're finished? The tower is functional. One room remains, which I... I shall inscribe after I am wet. Who helped you complete the work, Builder? You could not have managed so quickly on your own. Our agreement said nothing about outside help. Now, where is Freya? I'm tired of waiting. Outside help. Interesting choice of words. Hail, Harvey! Hail, Builder! We bring you your bride! Freya, my beloved! Why does she leer so wickedly? She agreed to marry you for the sake of Asgard, but she is not warmed by the idea. In fact, you revolt her utterly. If she hopes to dissuade me from this union, she'll be quite disappointed. I am committed to seeing this through. Enough chatter. We have upheld our end of the bargain. Will you finish your work? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such wild eyes. Why does she look so feral? Since hearing of your offer, she hasn't closed her eyes. She fears what she might miss in the abyss of comforting sleep. This is no dream, my love. It is all quite real. Speak and tell me you agree. Quit stalling and kiss her, Dungmeat! Consummate your betrothal! Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. <clears throat> Delicious! Your lips are two <laughs> pillows on a bed of rain-rose petals. 
and yours are cold and rough as unpolished stone. What trickery is this? Is something wrong? Her voice! It's hideous! I have been told it has a seductive quality. By a wolf. Treachery! Bring me the real Frey, or my offer is withdrawn! I'll bring myself, if you don't mind. Freya, you don't need you to... You have next to nothing, Esir. Only this useless monument to your ineptitude. Uh... You've been a good boy, Thor. Don't gamble your winnings. <clears throat> and you, Havi. You tried to avoid responsibility by not making a choice. But that was a choice in itself. And look where it has brought us. We have taken you for granted. It's true. That ends now. Has this sad spectacle been for my sake alone? I've seen better drama on the festering carcass of a dead pig! Finish your work, or suffer. No Freya, no shield. To hell I'm with him, Harvey. I know where he keeps his enchanted paint. Show me. Thor, Tyr, watch our guests closely. Freya, I hope we'll have words when this is done. Why do you still wear Freya's form? A reminder of who's at stake. Change back. This is disturbing. Where do we go now? I don't know. I didn't say I was watching him every moment. So, you don't know where he kept his supplies? They must be nearby. He never left this area. Mostly never. Footprints. Large footprints. We have found the worm's lair. Are those the builder's pets? He has strange tastes. Gods here. Ignore them. Those ruins. I know them. The builder's supplies must be hidden behind this door. Loki, give me a hand. Coming. Wait. Shapeshifters. More deception. The builder will suffer for this. Hold, Loki. We need to talk. What is it, Harvey? Loki? Did you know this builder before we met him at Heimdale's tower? But did I know him? As in friends? Or know of him? Did you invite him here? I... I did, yes. He rescued my son from Jotunheim. So I agreed to bring him here and help him find work. That's all. Make this right, Loki, or the blood oath that binds me is forfeit for you and your son. Is that clear? As a cloudless sky, High One. More dear. Go ahead. I'll put you back. That's cold comfort. A quiet cough. Oh, Emia's blood! You. Loki! Slay these shapeshifters!
I have the paint. Then let us fade like shadows of the light. It appears we've underestimated him. On your advice. Find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. I live to serve, Raven Feeder. Our hobby returns. Stay right there, Builder. We're not finished with you. You survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buris Balsak. Can I kill him now? We do not need this honored sheet. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hoogr makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well, recent. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others, go. Elhas, for protection. You godless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker, I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. You thought you could slay my people without punishment or price? You and your slab had its son? Their lives were the price of their arrogance. Hands exposed. But you do not control them. Control them. I only wish to survive them.
the Yotam dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, Trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've bedded more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cub. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Ymir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <laughs> Leave him. He'll do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Hooger magic, they call it. I'll travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Loki's son must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both.
Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I have been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself. But I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned, I felt. I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sired a wolf cup, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear, and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then, I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time. And the Nornir, they warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there is something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream is faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared.
Greetings. I want to see the Alliance map. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she's willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I'll take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I'll go now and end the life of Gorm Kjotveson, where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Lederchestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Repton. Sigurd should be here with the Regnasons. Aid me. 
Be my eyes. Are you Sigurd Drenger? Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending fires! And now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok to the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burger. I'm not going anywhere, Backrot. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our hex silver hoard. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Hacking over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lodbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. 
There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Jaewolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We'll be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit. And you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Sail southeast. Bring the men to the gates of town. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of war. does not need to fight to be a... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Not yet crowned king and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! 
he comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Jailbird? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no shame to pay for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of days. Say from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to help. Fears are with us, common folk. But Urgret still has his soldiers all over Mers. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a battle of meat. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that.
Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough joy!